Good morning, this is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Here's a new trading day. Today is Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. Markets look really strong this morning. You can see the futures. It is pointing green, and I don't even want to talk about Bitcoin today, but I want to talk about cannabis companies. Let's take a quick look at what's happening pre-market. This is opening... 30% higher after a big run up from yesterday. And it's not just one company, it's the whole industry. Here is the MJ Mutual Fund, which invests in mostly cannabis plays. You'll see the holdings here. There's Tilray, Cannabis, GW. So here's what I'm gonna do. I own GW. For those of you who know in some of my previous videos, I showed that I own GW. And GW is being merged and there's a cap the way they structured the merger was you're getting $200 in cash and $20 in jazz pharmaceutical. What that means is this stock is not going to move. After here, it's flat. What I'm going to do is sell it, sell GW, and then move into something that's going to move. And what, that, what I mean by that is even if I pick a single stock, everything is moving. Look at this. The last five days, everything is moving up. So what I'm going to do is end up buying... I'll probably end up buying this particular mutual fund so I can capture the short-term ride up better than sitting on something that's flat. So I made my money here. I got a 44 or whatever it is, 50% premium since the merger announcement. So if you got it in down here, I already got this premium, lock in my gains, and then move on to the next trade. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just waiting for market to open. Okay, I logged into my E-Trade account. You'll see it here. I'm going to sell my GW. Like I said, this is capped at 220, so there's not much for me to go. And before I do that, I would like to just uh, take a screenshot and capture this moment. And you'll see that I added more when it fell to $99, five shares. The best, uh, you know, the best five shares I probably ever bought for, you know, 500 bucks. So these are the things that make trading worth it. The money that you can make even in a short period of time. So let's hit the sell order. I want to make sure I do this right. How many shares do I have? It's 20, so it's not too hard to figure that one out. Whether you do a limit order, you, I'm looking at the price difference right here. Let's just do, uh, we'll do a limit for right now. We'll do a 214. We'll do a 50. But I need to get these things across so I can start using the money right away. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Hang on a second. Let's get this trade across. Again, my focus today is it's all about marijuana cannabis. And here you go. I sold it for 214.22, locked in the gains. Now let's do a new trade. Here you go. I'll buy 100 shares. We'll do a market order. Let's see what happens. I don't need to spend all 4,000. I think this is still a better way of playing it. And it went across. And I should have already got it. And let's see something. I don't even know. Can I do options against it? We'll, we'll take a quick pick at it. Oh, you could. Look at this. So let's do a cover call against it. We'll sell to open. And obviously, I this is too risky. I'd rather go all the way out here. This cannabis has been moving so far up. Look, I can still get a dollar for right here. So I collect a hundred dollars, and this assuming is going to move up. So let's take a quick look at what these will look like. I want to see how much room I have to roll up and out. If I have, okay. So let's do that. We're going to do a short term one. I'm going to lower it to, I'm looking at the uh, bid ask to see is it worth it to roll up. So this is the strategy. You don't want to do too close. You see that? You can collect $100 to go $44 or should I do something like this, 43 I may do something like that. I'm willing to collect 120 for this option here. Because remember, I just paid... 3300 for it, but in order for me to lose, you would have to move up. So let's do that. Let's try to get this thing across. I lowered it to uh, 
105 or 110. I think I did 110. I may have to lower to 105 because that's where the bid ass is. Let's see what happens. And it went across. There you go. And I think that will bring this video to an end. As you saw, I did close out my GW. Again, I explained it where GW will cap out at 220 no matter what. So I sold it today and I bought MJ because MJ has a bunch of cannabis play. And actually GW is in it. But I'm not really playing it for the GW play anymore. I'm playing it because this doesn't move and my stock will be capped. Whereas I want to play this for the next two or three years or four years. And we'll see what happens with MJ. Sure, I may have overpaid because if you look at the one month chart, it moved up significantly. But that's okay. Don't forget I made 50% profit from my other one. So even if I paid too much, that means even if I got in at... If this thing goes back down to $14 or $15, I took the profit from one trade and rolled it into here. So that's the way you got to look at it. The risk reward is still in my side. Don't forget, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. Have a profitable day.